You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about Deshaun Watson and the NFL. Now, we have been covering Deshaun Watson quite a bit on Black and White Live, but I felt that we needed to actually talk about this situation on this channel here. But I'm going to be very, very discreet because there are some graphic details that will get get us kicked off of YouTube. So I'm not going to go into those details. But if you want to learn about those details, go go ahead and check out Yahoo Sports and also check out ESPN. They have the details as well, folks. And it is disgusting. So I'm not going to address that here in this video. But guys, it looks like Deshaun Watson. There's a real possibility now, guys, that Deshaun Watson could be facing criminal charges. And we know all of the allegations. I can't even talk about it to tell you the truth on YouTube. But you guys know what I'm talking about. This is turned from a civil case now into a possible criminal case. Now, I guess we could have we all in a way should have kind of saw this coming because Deshaun Watson wants to be traded. The Houston Texans were actually trying to trade him. There is a reason why Deshaun Watson is still a Houston Texan right now. And I believe he's going to be a Texan for the rest of this season. It's gotten to the point now, guys, that he has become untradeable. And I have to give credit to uh, Mike Florio over, over at Pro Football Talk because he was right on top of this. Teams are afraid that they can lose Deshaun Watson for two years. One one thing that I think is going to happen, he's going to end up on that exempt list. I truly do believe that he will not play a down for the season. I did a video on the live channel talking about how Deshaun Watson is now fourth on the depth chart for the Texans. We know he's better than every quarterback on that team, but they don't expect him to play at all. So he will end up on that exempt list. And if the NFL finds him guilty of violating their personal conduct policy, he could be gone for the next year. And just because he was he he would end up sitting out all this year, if he gets suspended, there's no time served. So teams do not want to trade a lot for him, really anything at all right now, if you can lose him for two years. And we know that the Texans want a lot for him. But check this out. This is why this is exactly why Deshaun Watson is not tradable right now. Grand jury investigates. Investigation started on Deshaun Watson case over here on OutKick. And if you look here, Clay Travis uh, tweeted out, he says, wow, big news here on Deshaun Watson. There has been a Houston grand jury and panel to decide whether to bring criminal charges against him. Uh, Mark Berman here says, according to sources with knowledge of the situation, there is a Harris County grand jury investigation being used to determine if there is sufficient evidence to bring criminal charges against Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson, steaming from 22 civil lawsuits. Deshaun Watson is in huge, huge trouble, and there is a mountain of evidence against him, a mountain of ev evidence. This is a bunch of women. I believe it's like you have 22 civil lawsuits here, but 24 women overall, if I'm not mistaken. But it gets worse. The NFL is getting blasted by these women because some of these women now have been interviewed by the NFL. Check this topic out. Deshaun Watson accused us frustrated over investigation. The NFL and Roger Goodell have failed me. Over here on ESPN, women angered by questions from NFL investigators during Deshaun Watson inquiry. Now, I'm going to read a little bit of this, but I have to stop at a certain point because it gets into details here. And man, I can't put this on YouTube. But it says here at least two of the 22 women who have accused Deshaun Watson of misconduct are frustrated with the way the NFL has handled its investigation into Watson, according to Jenny Ver Verintas of Sports Illustrated. Verintas told Spoke to two of uh, Watson's accusers, Lauren Batsley and Ashley Solis, both of whom had reservations about their interviews with league investigators. And it says here, 
that is so graphic. They have a warning right here. OK. But it says this. Batson and Solis felt NFL investigators were patronizing and victim blaming during interviews. Solis grew angry when the investigator asked what Solis was wearing when she met with Watson. Now, guys, why was that question even asked? I mean, she's there to give Deshaun Watson a massage. And I'm just going to read this part right here. You guys judge for yourself. It says this, quote, this woman asked me what I was wearing, which honestly really pissed me off. Solis told Sports Illustrated in what was her first interview with a media outlet. She explained that that's something that she has to ask, which I don't believe at all. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be wearing that would suggest. And I can't even go any further than that, folks. I cannot go any further than that. Read the rest of it for yourself. So. Solis is basically saying that the NFL was insinuating that, hey, based on what you were wearing, you were probably asking for it. And she got really upset about that. This is not going to be a good look whatsoever for the NFL as well, because as of right now, folks, Deshaun Watson has free range to practice and play with Houston Texans. The NFL has done nothing, nothing. The NFL is failing right now. Roger Goodell done. He has done nothing with Deshaun Watson. Absolutely nothing. This is crazy. This is crazy. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of Deshaun Watson possibly facing criminal charges now at this point? Man, this man is in a bunch of bunch of trouble. I can't remember an NFL player being in this much trouble, probably since Ray Lewis, to tell you the truth. Even Ray Rice. That situation was bad, but I don't know if it was this bad with this many women accusing Deshaun Watson of unspeakable crimes. Wow. I'm just blown away by this, that we're at this point already. NFL season's about to start. Deshaun Watson, his status is in limbo. He's not going to play. I truly don't believe he's going to play. And he is untradeable at this point. Not a, not that a grand jury has convened. Now, if a grand jury determines that there is no criminal charges here, that, which honestly, folks, I don't see how they're not going to bring criminal charges. But if there's not any criminal charges, there's a chance that Deshaun Watson could still actually um, get traded. I really do. But if there is criminal charges, the Houston Texans are stuck with this man. He won't be tradable. He won't be tradable because then he would have to go to trial. And there's no telling how long that's actually going to take. The Houston Texans could be in a real, real bind with Deshaun Watson. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.